Hey, welcome. I'm Sticky and you're watching Sticky Situation. So today, on my situation, what am I doing? I am building a stick rack for all the hockey sticks that I have. I have a lot of hockey sticks. Actually, this one's gonna be for the UVU hockey team, the Utah Valley University hockey team. So we all have our sticks, they're stuck against the wall. And when you put them against the wall, they kind of sit like this and then someone comes by and knocks them and they all fall down. So a stick rack just kind of holds them all into place so you can keep them all together on there. So I've got a whole bunch of old busted up hockey sticks. You know, they break because hockey's kind of a violent sport. You come in there hard, you get hit hard, your stick tends to snap every once in a while. So I got a bunch of those lying around, so I'm gonna be using um, some old sticks just to kind of add a, you know, a flair to it. Um, but the majority of it's gonna be made out of wood. So I'm gonna be doing, uh, I've got some block pieces. So I've already cut most of these to size. So I've got these little block pieces, which will be the base. I've got a little slot here to stick my sticks down into. Um, then I've got this top piece here and then some other little back pieces. So I've cut most of these. Um, I just need to sand them. I've been, I've got to route the edges a little bit more. I'm putting a little fancy design on the edge just because it's better than squaring it up, I guess. So then I got to once I get those finished up, then I'm going to sand them all. And then we're going to assemble it. I didn't want to bore you with all the cutting and chopping parts. I mean, maybe you want to know that, but it's pretty simple. You take your chop saw and cut it to length. But I'll give you the measurements in case you want to build one for yourself. Um, you probably don't need one as long as this one. Mine's going to be just under eight feet, so it's going to be... Um, what do I have on it? I can't remember what I put on it. I was going to have it 8 feet, but it didn't work out right. So 92 inches is what we're going to put on that. So most people, they don't have uh, 48 sticks that they have to keep on the rack. So, so most people with a normal 4 foot one, plenty good. So you can take this one, you can look at it, chop it down to half as big. It'll work the same thing. Um, I just got mine really long because the whole team has a lot of sticks. So, yeah, we're going to work on that. I'll go over some of my ideas with you. I've kind of planned it at, by ear. I don't have a diagram or a, um, what do you call those, a spec sheet that shows how much my length is. I don't have anything written out or sketched out. It's just all up here in my head. So I'm just going as I go and hope you'll come along and enjoy it. I've got them all sanded. I'm going to be using this green paint since green is the colors of UVU. They're green and black and white. So I'm going to paint all my pieces of wood, all these blocks, and then all the trim pieces. So all the wood's going to be painted in green, and then I'm going to have the different colored hockey sticks, which I will not be painting. I'll just be leaving those as a natural form. Um, so I'm going to get those painted so then I can attach those sticks to it. 
Um, and that should be it. So we're going to paint them down. Day. and I've got everything painted up good so I got a nice Wolverine green or Kelly green you know whatever so now I'm gonna attach a bunch of these brackets on here what I've been doing is I'm just cutting off pieces of uh, hockey sticks so these are the butts of a hockey stick they got tape on them is the grip part so I've been cutting these off so I can kind of have these as spacers on here I put one in I was kind of looking at different ways to do this. Um, I was debating whether I should do it with a bolt straight down in or use these eye hook things. These ones are, I put this one in right here. Let's see if we can zoom in on it here. hard when I'm doing it backwards so I kind of put this one in here just put the bolt in like so then I'm screwing it in putting it down there um, these seem to hold it pretty good so what these things are is they'll sit So this thing will sit up on the back wall and then your hockey sticks when you put them down in there will kind of rest against the saddle keep them going so you put two sticks in between each one and it should keep them from sliding so they don't fall down which is the problem that we have now. So that's my plan I'm just gonna cut out a bunch more of these butt ends to put on here um, drill the holes out for it and connect all of these little butt ends so we can have some spacers on it.
Okay, I finally got all the little pegs put in. Now we're gonna put the base blocks on. I'm gonna screw those legs onto the backboard first. So I'll take these and click them in here. And I can put the front part on. Attach the other back leg too. So. kind of hard to I can't really lay this out very good because my space to work in is so small here I would love to someday have a huge workshop but until that day everything's on top of everything else we're all cramped in here but we'll get it done because that's what we do base. I just have to hold those posts on that are going up, put some angle brackets in, and that attach this back piece. We're all done. Probably have to do all that inside the house because there's just not enough space in here to do everything else. So I've got all the base done and I put the two sticks in and then the, uh, I don't know what you call it, the spacer block up on top of them. So I had just notched that out, of course, so I could sit that on top. Right now it's just being held by gravity. I don't have any pins or bolts in it. But what I need to do next is take these hockey sticks which I've cut the angles on them so they'll fit in there just right and then attach those ones up in here like this so I have those side supports on them so that'll keep it forward back motion out and hopefully a little bit stronger I still need to put some screws through here to hold these into place because right now they're just kind of sitting in that hole which isn't necessarily a bad thing if I want to move it and put it all together when I get there I can do that um, so it might actually be helpful to do that but for now I'm going to stick these ones on here and drill the holes to make sure because I want to do a hole here and then another hole right here to get in there so it bonds good and then another hole down here so it gets into that wood as well while making it level that's the big thing so give you kind of a little bit more of a close-up look on it so what I've got so far so I have my main beam which goes all the way down on there and I've got these hockey stick poles which go down into the base 
Uh, the base is just like you saw those three blocks and I've got some kind of fancy router trim piece in the back that's a little bit higher and I've got this half inch piece in the front just to kind of keep it out um, so you get kind of an idea of what we're looking at so then when you come in you can just put your sticks in here and just kind of sit and they stay up right like that so that is kind of how they'll fit in there and how they'll stay um, so that's the start let's get drilling those holes and finish bolting that in and making it level too much and those drill bits just don't stand a chance okay so this is more or less what it will look like I mean you just got to put it together put the screws in it but we're pretty much done so we've got it all connected up here we've got the cross braces in there and then if I bolt it to the wall, both up top up here and then down below down there, it'll keep it from going side to side. That's really the only other thing, plus front and back movement on there. So, yep, that is it. We'll get you a picture of it set up in the locker room. But that is it. So how to build a stick rack uh, from your mind without a pattern. I just kind of put it together as I went along, but the things I found, like these eye bolts, I was like, oh, I got a whole bunch for a good deal. We'll use those. So it came together pretty nice. I'm excited about it. You know, maybe we'll put some stickers on there for UVU, engrave something in there. Who knows? Got lots of options. But for now, it's functional and it works, and that's what we need. So stick with it. You got this, and keep on trying. We'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. I think it's
All right, so here we are in the locker room. And here is the stick rack, finalized, put together. Sorry, not much light in this back hallway. So, as you can see, got it all done. Turned out really nice. It's holding all the sticks real good. So this looks good right here. Cross pieces come in. And then it fits quite a few sticks on it. So it turned out really good. Everybody liked it. And that's it. So always fun to do a project for the boys and hopefully they enjoy it. So remember, stick with it. You got this. And uh, remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Give us a like if you want to see more videos and stick with it. We'll see you on the next one.